Okay guys, so we are going to fix Forza Horizon 5 uh, freezes and low bitstream warnings as well as some of the other issues. I'm going to go ahead and start loading up my Forza Horizon 5 so I can show you without the solution what happens to me. Uh, the three things that I'm going to show you guys how to do is launch this with admin mode, turn off Windows Defender Firewall, and turn off your Windows real-time protection. If you're using any third-party antivirus software, you're going to want to disable that as well. This is installed on my second SSD M.2, so I should not run into any low bitstream issues or freezes really. Any crashes, anything like that shouldn't really be a thing, but it uh, unfortunately is. I'm going to skip through the loading screen here. It's not a long load, but it's uh, going to chew up some of the video. Okay, so it already crashed and goes right to the desktop. Now, with the first solution that I'm suggesting, uh, you can just go into your search bar and type in Forza Horizon 5. So let's go ahead and run this as an administrator, and I just right-click it, run as administrator. Like I said, you can type in Forza. Right-click it, run as admin. It's going to ask for permission to do so. We're going to go through the launch process again here. When I first started playing this game on my computer, I had a low bitstream warning, and then it would crash, I don't know, five or uh, ten minutes into the game even. So if you're running into that problem, this uh, should solve that as well. The Windows Defender Firewall and the Windows Antivirus Real-Time Protection, those are both methods to fix uh, disconnects from the Forza servers, which will happen every now and then if you don't have them disabled. At least it did for me. Again, all computers are a little different, so... Keep that in mind. Uh, there are some other solutions out there for these types Welcome of issues. Back, they involve uh, all types of wacky things. Uh, you can definitely go check out those videos and uh, try all those different methods if this does not work for you. But this is what worked for me and worked pretty uh, instantly and noticeably. So as you can see, I'm driving around here, no issues uh, so far. I'm gonna try and get into an online game. I shouldn't have an issue, but uh, occasionally I do. So let's go ahead and do that. See if I can replicate that issue. If not, it's no problem. I'll still show you how to uh, turn off the firewall and antivirus. Okay, so as you can see, I have been disconnected. Please try again later, and you can go ahead and check your network diagnostics, which is just telling you what you already know. You've been disconnected. Okay, so... Uh, you should be able to do this while you're in the game, but I'm going to exit and show you how to do it from the start menu here. Um, I always just use the search. It's the easiest method here. Firewall. Windows Defender Firewall. You can see it's on. We're going to go ahead and turn it on or off. Turn off. Okay. It's now off. Uh, the other thing we can do here is 
uh, turn off that antivirus. So let's go ahead and look up uh, Windows Defender or security. If you type in security, it should definitely come up that way. And we're going to go to virus and threat protection, manage settings, and we're going to turn off the real time protection. Leave this up uh, either in the background or on your second screen uh, just so you can turn it back on when you're done if you want. And sometimes it turns itself back on. Windows is like that, but uh, you can just keep an eye on that. Again, if you have a third-party antivirus, you're going to want to turn that off while you're playing Forza. I don't know why it gets flagged, but it does. The other thing I forgot to mention is I am on the... Uh, pretty much the latest Windows update. They just released another update last night, but uh, it should work for all Windows 10 and 11 updates. And NVIDIA, I know people have been talking about the graphics drivers. I, I don't believe it is a graphics driver issue. I am on the latest GeForce Game Ready driver, and uh, this is what works for me. So comment below if this doesn't or if it does work for you so that we can kind of get a gauge on... Uh, how well this solution works if it's not working for you detail further what's happening so maybe somebody else can give you the solution or i might be able to uh, do some troubleshooting on my end and get back to you in the comments hit the like button to help the algorithm so that this gets recommended to anybody else searching for a solution and uh thanks for watching guys